This race is for Jumpin' Jack. Thanks for tuning in for this week's edition of Inside Northeast Racing. Got a lot of things coming at you there. There's a, uh, certainly a very big point on this past Saturday night, an emotional win from the Fonda Speedway. Also at the Fonda Speedway, we turn back the hands of time and look at some of the racers of yesteryear, the Atlantic Coast old timers on hand. Hey, Ken Goey, what a guy. Got a bunch of the open wheel cars here. They also had stock cars on hand, the old timers and antique racers, if you will. Some immaculately pre prepared and restored cars as we get a good look around through some of the cars on the trailers here they would end up going out on the racetrack putting on an exhibition we'll see a little bit of that here in this week's program as you can see some of the cars back before many of the safety features that we see today were even dreamt about of course the new york state stock car association utica rome speedway rct roofing all bringing this week's program to us as well as our friends from rayom towing and recovery and Dirt Track Digest. Here is the footage of the Atlantic Good Coast Old Julie. Timers. We'll take a look around the Track of Champions here with the open wheel cars as they are underway and under their exhibition event. We'll get a peek in on them as Josh Phillips will give us the call. They will be side by side pretty soon as they come out of turn at number four, so the battle for the race lead is starting to pick up Van Wert way down on the inside. And the number two machine at Cahill working up top. And they're side by side for the number three position as well. Wiltsy and Goey right there side by side. Wiltsy going to grab up to the number three spot with Goey back to fourth. And here comes the big run for Cahill as he's trying to work up there on the outside, but making just a little bit too long of it out there. And Van Wert going to maintain the number one position down low as they come off of turn number four. So Van Wert and then Cahill, and they are working their way through lap traffic now. As the number one machine of Wilsey going to sneak by, try to grab the number two spot, but Cahill right back on the outside, going to grab it right back. So here comes Wilsey down low, Goey right there in the number four position. As they come down this time, I believe they will see parallel flags, so two laps to go. And we've got one way up top, and he is going to lose a lot of ground. I believe that is the number two. And he is slow enough to pace, going to take it to the infield. So tough break for the number two machine as he was riding in the number two position, John Cahill. And now he will sit over there in the infield as the white flag is out. And this time off of turn number four, checker flag will fly, picking up the win. The number one of Eric Wilsey, second, will be the 98 of Bun Hinman. Third will go to the 20 of Goey. From the racers of yesteryear, we'll take a trip up to the Great Race Place for this past Friday night street stock feature at Albany, Saratoga. You see with the 93, Justin Smith with the 45, Josh Coonrad with the double zero. The seven of Jay Severson. And a return to the great race place of the unstable one. That is Crazy Curtis Condon. Crazy Kurt back there in the old four car. Kurt Condon starting tail and Charlie in this one. One lap in the books and Joey Thu going to lead the way down here to turn number one. Thu, your leader in the 28 car. He will lose a couple of positions and now off of turn number four. Green is out and we are back underway. Bramer and Conroy lead him to turn one, and here comes Yule Cook. Yule Cook, the 
Digging down to the inside is the midterm way off of turn number two. Boomer and Cook side by side. Conroy's gone to the front. Here's Coonrat going upstairs as they work off of turn number two. Here comes Shippy down to the inside, trying to take Coonrat by surprise. He gets to the inside and then they come off of turn number four, door to door down to the white flag lap. White flag is out. Coonrat sees the number one spot go away and he's coming back after it. As they go off of turn number two, Coonrat gets into the left rear corner of Shippy. They touch. They go down to turn number three. Here's Kenny Conroy looking to steal this one from the outside lane. They come down off of turn number four. David Shippy hangs on for the win. Shippy hangs on for the win. Conroy right there along with Coonrat. We will let timing and scoring settle that one. Finishing fourth will be Justin Smith and Scott Lawrence rounds out your top five. That is going to be the way your top five will finish. Staying with the Albany Saratoga theme, we'll stay up at the Great Race Place and go sportsman racing this past Friday night. Here's your sportsman feature from Albany Saratoga. The 22K, Corey Wilder, Nick Anatrella with the 9, the 81, a Luke Cobb, Joey Scarborough with the 39, and Cody Blue aboard the 173, rounding out your starting orders. And that is the way they start as they make their way down the back stretch here on go round number one. It will be Jack Swinton showing the way here off of turn number four. Swinton, your leader, has one lap now in the books. Side by side by side, they work off of turn number two, down into turn number three. Up through the corner they go, down to the inside, the 12 of Miller, trying to get that number one spot away from the 07 of Jack Swinton. Swinton, your leader, side by side, they race there for a second. Now Stan Lamise, back to turn number one, working up on the high side. Here comes Frank Ward. Frank Ward the third, going to work up on the outside as he goes down into turn number three. <laughs> Frankie Ward the third. Frank Ward the third going to lead down off of turn number two, leading the way by about four here at the Great Race Place. He'll make his way down the max straightaway, fight his way through turn number three and four. Luke Clobbs in front of him, but it ain't going to be enough. Checker flag is out. Frankie Ward the third will pick up the win here in the Sportsman Feature event. Second to be Andy Derry, third Nick Lucier, fourth is John Miller, and Derek McGrew will round out your top five here in this feature event. And from the Sportsman feature, we'll go to a barn burner of a modified main event as we go to the Great Race Place, and we'll show why they call it just that, the Great Race Place. Is your starting grid as we get ready to go. Green flag is out. Here we go. Modified racing down to turn number one. Up on the front, it is the Soul Trail Repair, number 711 car showing the way as they work down into turn number three. Outside of him, the 21 of Pep Karate rides there, and now he will take the number one spot away. Karate goes at a point, going to work on the outside lane here off the turn number two. Back to second goes Soul. Third spot is Jimmy Cottrell. Fourth spot right now, Jeremy Wilder, as Wilder works down to the inside of the number four car, Rich Ronka. Ronka and Wilder side by side back there for position as they make their way down off the corner. Final restarting position. We're going to be ready to go back to green as they make their way down off to number four to meet your bike, Soul. Leading them down to turn number one. Soul, your new leader, Karate Wilder. From the penthouse to the outhouse, here on lap number 16, down to turn number one, the 7-Eleven of Jamaica Soul in the number one position. Karate will bring it back around here and rejoin under green flag conditions. Jamaica Soul showing the way, but he has got the 22J of Jeremy Wilder starting to bear down on him. Down into turn number three, Jamaica Soul this time by White is in the air and Jamaica Soul is four left hand turns from his first career win here at the Great Race Place. They get on in the turn number three. Here's the move by Hearn. Hearn's going to pull down to the inside. 
champion drag race, then Mike Saul will pick up the win. Jim Mike Saul gets win number one, Brett Hearn falling just short here in second. First spot goes to Ronnie Johnson, spot number four goes to the 3J of Mark Johnson, and rounding out your top five is the 3D of Matt DiLorenzo. A big win for the young driver, Jamike Soul, as he holds off the track's all-time winningest driver, Brett Hearn, Soul, and his whole gang down here in Victory Lane. Mike Soule, of course, a great supporter of racing at the Albany Saratoga Speedway, actually putting up a big night of bonuses coming up this coming Friday night as Santa Soul will visit the Albany Saratoga Speedway. And speaking of the young driver, we'll kick it off to our friend Mimi Lazaro to hear from the big winner this past week, and then from a veteran fan favorite, we'll kick it to Mimi. Hi everyone, I'm Mimi Lazaro and you're watching Inside Northeast Racing. We're here with Jamike Soul. Jamike, you've come off a really successful night at Malta. You, win, you won against some guys that I think might have been racing longer than you've been alive. That's got to feel pretty cool. Yeah, it feels really good. You know, what are you, what are you thinking there? You, you had some restarts. You had quite a few yellows last night. You're thinking, oh man, is this Brett Hearn behind me? Is he going to get me? What were you thinking? I just had to hit my marks, and uh, it worked out for us really good. And how difficult is that to hit your marks lap after lap? Oh, it's really hard. Now, Mike, you've run at Glen Ridge. You got some wins there. How much more or did that win at Malta last night mean any more to you? Was it any more significant than the wins you have at Glen Ridge? It was my first one over there, so it meant a lot more. Now, you, you run here at Fonda Speedway. Your dad is involved with sponsoring the Speedway. I see you guys are helping out Tony Pepicelli tonight. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, we're helping Tony out, and uh, my dad likes helping out the racing, so that's really nice. Now, out of all the tracks here that you've run, you've run Glen Ridge, Malta, Fonda. Where else have you run? Um, we ran uh, up at Syracuse a couple of times, been to Utica, and a couple other racetracks. What do you think out of those tracks was your favorite? Um, probably Syracuse. And if you could run anywhere, at any race anywhere, what would you choose? Probably Charlotte. Really? Yeah. Charlotte Motor Speedway? Yep. And why is that? Uh, real heavy racetrack. And have you been there? Have you been there as a spectator in the fall when they run the, the what is it called, the World Finals is yes. what it is? You've been there as a spectator. Yep. So were you guys thinking at all maybe you might get in there for the finals this year? Uh, probably not, but maybe in the future. Yeah. All right, folks. That's Jamike Soul. He's got some wins under his belt. He's a good runner here. You've been doing pretty good here at Fonda. It's a tough track, but good luck tonight. Maybe we'll see you in victory lane. Have a good night. We're here with Jeff Trombley. Jeff, you're a veteran here. You've kind of run here, not run here, but you're back here. Yeah, we're back. We've been running uh, every Saturday here since the beginning of the year, so things have kind of been up and down so far, but uh, keep plugging. Absolutely, and by here I mean Fonda Speedway. But you you still run in Malta on Friday nights? Yep, run there every Friday night and then Saturdays here. So how's that Malta program working out for you? Do you run the same car at Malta and Fonda? No, we got a different car for Malta. We've been going good at Malta. Um, had some bad finishes lately, but I've been getting to the front, and um, that car's been going good. We've been struggling with this one here a little bit, but like I said, we just keep plugging and see what we get. Now, how difficult is it? Uh, you've grown in this sport. You started where, you know, you could kind of run on nickels and dimes, and now it's almost impossible. How difficult is it for you to get here every week? Well, I think the important thing is you have to learn where you can spend the money and where you can save. Um, if you try to save in the wrong spots, it bites you. So I guess you just kind of learn it as you go and, and spend the money where you, where you really need it. And uh, if you, you can overspend in this sport really easy, so you got to be careful. Now, if there's one bit of advice that you can give to people that would be the most important for them to get to the track everything, every, every week, not necessarily money-wise, but the, what is most important for them to do to their car every week to get here and to finish the race? Do all your maintenance every week. I mean, it, there, there's a lot of work to it. That, and you have to learn how to do all the work yourself. That's the main thing. Now, I think you've learned that definitely over the years. You do have a couple guys. You got Danny Hansen, who's been with you for a few years. Who else you got helping you? Uh, my brother comes every Saturday and helps us out on Friday nights also. 
Um, lost a lot of our crew. Everybody's racing their own race cars now, so yep. everybody kind of got spread out. Jeff, I always like to see a race. I think you still got some wins under you, so I hope you stay with it and stick with it. So good luck tonight, and hopefully we'll see you in victory lane. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, folks. That's Jeff Trombley. He's always been one of my favorites here, so we'll see him out on the track tonight. Thanks, Mimi. And while we're talking about the Fonda Speedway, it is time to go to the Track of Champions, their most recent modified main event this past Saturday night's modified feature. We'll send it to track announcer Josh Phillips for the call. Egg. Off of turn number four, so mashes the gas, leads him down the front stretch. He's going to grab it at the stripe, working down on the inside as Green going way up to the high side of the speedway. Reckner going to sneak through to the number two spot. To Mike Soil trying to pick up his winning ways from last night as he's going to lead the field down into turn number three through four. And Elmo Reckner on a tear off in number two position as they come down to the stripe Joe Mike Soul going to show the way Reckner second, third is Green fourth is Jeremy Wilder and Wilder working it down to the inside for that number three spot as Green working upstairs side by side they race down to the inside of turn number three as they come off of turn number four Joe Mike Soul continuing to show the way Elmo and even closer down to the inside. They're coming up on lap traffic right now. And it'll be 13 laps in the books this time by for your race leader. Joe Mike Souls, he goes to the outside of Aaron Jacobs and Ronnie Johnson gonna sneak down low of Elmo Reckner. Johnson now to the number two spot and he's gonna go to work after Joe Mike Souls. Souls got lap traffic right there below. Ronnie Johnson has to slide up high as they come off of turn number four just under the halfway point. 14 laps, all green flag, all Jamaica soul, but RJ is coming. RJ working down low into turn number two, side by side for the race lead. Soul gonna give up the race lead, fall back to the runner up position as Ronnie Johnson now got the point. He is gonna show the fast way around into turn number three now, out of turn number four. New race leader at the halfway point. 15 laps in, and Ronnie Johnson takes command. Elmo Reckner sneaks by Soul for the number two spot. Third right Soul. Fourth is Danny Varon as he gets by Wilder, who rides fifth. Then he got Stuart Friesen in sixth. Sounds 11 track champ. Had a little rough of a year last year. Now he wants to get it back on track here this year into turn number three through turn number four. Out of turn number four, a white flag is in the air. For the Palmer Service Center, car number two, R.J. Johnson down into turn number one and two for the final time. Off the turn, down the back stretch. Ronnie Johnson trying to get the victory lane as he goes down into turn number three and four. Has trouble on the number two position of Friesen. He sits parked there in turn number two. The race leader now, winner Ronnie Johnson picking up the win. Elmo Reckner will cross in the number two spot. Third will now be Danny Varon. Fourth will be Jeremy Wilder. Fifth to Jamaica Soul. Sixth, Mike Mahaney. Seventh, Jimmy Davis. Eighth. All right, down here in victory lane with the two RJ of Ronnie Johnson, a previous champion here, no stranger to victory lane. He worked his butt off for this win tonight. Getting unstrapped from his car, taking his Hans device off. All right, folks, give him a big round of applause. RJ, Ronnie Johnson takes home your modified feature win here tonight at the Track of Champions. Getting a hug and kiss from Carol Palmer. Shelly's over here, his wife. Getting a hug and kiss from him to her too, and a Harold over there, handshake. Come on over here, guys. Ron, congratulations, man. You worked hard for that win tonight. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, we made some changes after the heat race. We kind of sucked it up a little bit in the heat, and uh, the guys real, worked real hard. We changed the torsion bar in the car and kind of threw something at it, and it really, really worked good. Uh, I'm kind of anxious to get home and see where we're at with the car right now. Yeah, you know, it's been really tough here. You, you've, ha you've had a little bit of a tough uh, year this year, you know, and, and I've talked to other guys. One week the track is like this, the next week the track is like that. So it's really hard to get a pinpoint on how to set your car up. Yeah, it's not easy. And the way Stewie Friesen's been here and Matty D the last uh, 
few weeks. Uh, it really made us step our game up. But thanks to our pit crew, Carol and Elton Palmer and Gary Mickles and Mike from Be Dry and Frank Witz from Witz Roof. And uh, we got a good race team here. But <clears throat> most of all, I got to tell you, it's going to be hard to say this, but this race is for Jumping Jack. A big win for a classy guy dedicating the win to the man who taught him more than how to drive a race car, Jumpin' Jack. Big weekend coming up at Utica Rome Speedway. Coming up Sunday night, Empire Super Sprints and Fireworks, along with a regular card of racing. Make that part of your holiday weekend plans, Utica Rome Speedway, this Sunday night. And now it's time for the NISCA Weekly Winners segment, where the New York State Stock Car Association salutes this past week's winners. Upcoming special events for the New York State Stock Car Association, their NISCA Contingency Nights coming up on the 13th at the Woodhull Speedway and the 14th at Utica Rome Speedway. Here are your NISCA Weekly Winners from the past weekend. Starting off at the Fonda Speedway and the Atlantic Coast Old Timers, the ACOT winner was Eric Wilsey. Rob Van Arnhem, Kenny Martin, Wayne Gage, Ronnie Johnson, and Brian Pesolano. The CRSA winner down at the Five Mile Point Speedway was Keith McIntyre. At Albany Saratoga Speedway, it was Jamike Soul, Frank Horde III, David Shippey, Randy Miller, Jack Bublack, Timothy Davis, and Rob Yetman. At Lebanon Valley Speedway, it was Dave Stickles, Richard Puff, Paul La Rochelle, Kyle Sheldon, Steve Huff, Tyler Dipple, and Daniel Sanchez. At Orange County Fair Speedway, it was Stephen Kammer. Christian Rumsey, John Lido, and Brian Crummel. That's your NISCA Weekly winners, and we thank the New York State Stock Car Association for their support here in Inside Northeast Racing. Hi, I'm Courtney Normo from Inside Northeast Racing, and I'm here today with Cody Clark. Cody, how has your racing been? It's been good. We traveled to uh, three different tracks this year so far. We went to Accord last week, finished six, which was pretty good. We stayed out of a lot of wrecks, which helped us a lot. And uh, three weeks ago, we went to Glen Ridge, won the rookie race up there for the first time there. And now we're race, racing Fonda. We're going off for the heat in a couple minutes. So, see how we're doing there. How can you compare Glen Ridge? To uh, they're both short tracks, and things happen there really fast because you don't have time to react. They're short little bull rings. Like again, last last Friday at Ackward, we managed to stay out of some big wrecks, which if we were in them would have cost us a lot. Where do you plan on going with your racing career? Uh, eventually, I want to race big block modifieds on the Super Dirt Super Dirt Car Tour. So I understand it was your birthday the other day? Yes, it was. We went out to uh, dinner with my family, and then we went up to uh, Checkers Out and turned some laps there. Well, I want to wish you a happy birthday. Thank you. We're going to go see how we do in the heat, and uh, I'll, let you, I'll go from there. Good luck tonight. Thank you. I'm here with my father, Jim Normoyle. So, Dad, how do you like being back at Fonda this year? I love being back at Fonda. I'd rather say I'd rather love being back home. So you've had a lot of success uh, in the top five. When will your big win be? Uh, hopefully tonight. You know, we try to win every, each and every week we come here, and uh, we put it out there with everything we have. And uh, the racing's really tight. It's fast and it's clean. So you know, if we go three wide. It don't matter. How's Utica this year? Uh, Utica's okay. You know, we're not really concentrating much at Utica, but. We've been rained out for the last couple of weeks, but we'd like to get back there. It's uh, also a good track and fun. And who would you like to thank for bringing the car here each and every week? Uh, I'd like to thank Edwards Food Service, my mom, my dad especially, um, 
all my kids, my family, they're all, every one of them are into racing more than what I am really. Um, my cousin Dave Crook, Ricky Axet helps me with setup. Um, Northeast Racing Videos does an awesome job. And, uh, you know, that's about it. My mother-in-law, Donna Jadway, she also, uh, you know, throws a little in the kitty, buys tires once in a while. And that's about it. Well, good luck tonight. Thank you. I'm Courtney Normoro from Inside Northeast Racing. Thank you, Courtney, for introducing us to a few new drivers. As now, it is time for the weekly presentation of the Fonda Pro Stocks. Presented weekly by RCT Roofing, here's your Saturday night Pro Stock feature from Fonda. We'll send it back to track announcer, Josh Phillips. 7 Elf Dimbluski. The mil mullet, Jeff McPhail, will round out your field. Green means go down the front stretch, and we are racing it down into turn number one. We've got smoke pouring out of the car. Hardly Shepard, I believe, is letting some smoke go down here in turn number two as the race is picking up up there for the race lead. Hallner working down on the inside. Cassidy Wilson trying to keep him in the rearview mirror as they come off at of turn number two, your race leader. Will now be Gus Hallner. And the field gonna chase after him. Down into turn number one and two. Wilson got the number two spot, but he's got company because here comes Cousin Luke down to the inside. Luke gonna have to jump up on the binders. Here comes Nick Stone down to the inside. Three wide for the number four spot. Three wide, make it four as they go down the back stretch into turn number three. As Kenny Martin gonna sneak through on the top side. As they come off a turn at number four, McSpirit getting shuffled back just a little bit as they cross the stripe. Nick Stone, your new race leader with Gus Halder riding second. Five laps in the book, and we've got a barn burner already up at the front of this one. As Martin pedaling down on the inside, Nick Stone charges right back. They go side by side. You can't even see Nick Stone. He is that dead even with Kenny Martin as they go into turn number three and four. Here comes Stone out to the outside, once again off of turn number four. Side by side, they race to the line. Martin is not gonna beat him once again. Stone by a bumper. So new race leader off of turn number two, Kenny Martin. And Kenny Gates not giving up yet. He is working on Normwell for that number three position. Gates awful quick, awful fast out there into turn number three. Down the back stretch along the mighty Mohawk for the final time in front of the Fonda Speedway billboard. Underneath the golden arches on the high side of turn number three. Out of turn number four, checker flag is in the air. Two in a row, Kenny Martin. Second will go to Pete Broderson. The race for third will go right down to the line and Gates will edge out Normal for the number three spot. Normal comes home fourth. Fifth will be Nick Stone. And as Crazy Kenny goes back to back in Pro Stock Feature wins, a man who works as hard at his celebrations as some people do all race long, Crazy Kenny, keeping things a little bit interesting as he makes his quick trip up the stairs and yes, he gets to wave the checkered flag again. Never a dull moment in the life of Crazy Kenny Martin, that's for sure. Good to see spirit like that as Crazy Kenny keeps the wildness alive here in the pro stocks got a big special event coming up for the pro stocks a little bit of uh, a midweek flavor to a very special event special to many of us including us all here at inside northeast racing and to hear more about that upcoming event and some of the surrounding doings we'll now send it to kelly keith Hi, I'm Kelly Keefe, and I'm here with Pete Broderson with some exciting news. Coming here at Fonda Speedway on July 18th will be the Hondo Classic. Once again, it's the 8th annual. Now, this year, for something fun, we're going to have a barbecue the week Saturday before the race, July 13th. It's going to be actually in the, in the parking lot of Rocky Warner's Race Shop, which is on the tickets, which... 63 Main Street. Um, now tickets are, are $10 a piece, $5 of that goes towards the Hondo Classic. So it's basically a great, great thing for us. And we're not going to put it all on the nose of the race. We're going to put it right through the whole field. There's 400, ticket, 400 tickets printed, so that could be huge for our race. Now, how much money do you think you won last year? I ran, won about $1,400. So definitely my biggest payoff of the year. So for a pro stock, that's a pretty good thing. Now we can make it even better. We just need your help. So see somebody here at the track. So Pete has tickets, Kenny Martin has tickets, Bonnie Mortensen has tickets, and go to the Bobco Video booth, and they have tickets there too. 
So come help us out for a great cause and make sure you're here for the Honda Classic on July 18th. Thanks, Kelly. We'll look forward to all the doings that will surround that big event, the Hondo Classic, coming up here in weeks to come, as we'll have much, much more. The Lucas Oil Empire Super Sprint Tour will be at the Utica Rome Speedway. And as always, we'd like to thank our friends from Jack Shoes, Race Car Parts, and more. Well, the rain set in on Friday night down at the Accord Speedway, but on Wednesday, it was midweek madness down at the Ulster County Bowling as the Slingshots take center stage. And this was an Empire Senior Slingshot Tour event down at Accord. Jared Labah picked up the win over Robbie Albreda with Tommy Zwart finishing in third spot. Fourth spot was Demetrius Delos and Melissa Treshold rounded out your top five. That was at Accord on Wednesday night. Noth down the back straightaway, having himself a great run here tonight. Watch him down there in turn number three and four. As he works off in turn number four, the black and white, the checker flag is going to fly. Your ace number one for the Rookies Park Center. Pure stocks, it's going to go to Joe Noth the third. And back to take a look at some of the racers of yesteryear. Now, how about that right there? That is kicking it back. One wild Torino and the Perth Lumber Wagon. I was also at Fonda Speedway on Saturday night. How many people brought back memories this past Saturday night of the Superman Super CD Coval, the first lumber wagon, number 61 car. There you go. It says it all right there. We certainly missed the Superman. Some of the cars here in the pit area, Stan Wetmore's coach body, number 73. There's Sox Hulbert's number 78, the car that he won the Devil's Bowl Championship with certainly uh, great to see that his son Daryl Hulbert driving that automobile some great looking cars restored and they don't just restore them they race them they go out and they race them hard and there was the Perth Lumber Wagon taking its trip back out to the Fonda Oval and I'm sure there were a lot of people in the grandstand area. Brought up some stories through the stands. I'm sure a lot, some of the folks watching this will kick back and get a few as well. Paced by the Fonda Antique Pace Car. And again, we'll send it back to Josh Phillips to give you an idea of what went on at the Track of Champions this past Saturday night. Crawling it through turn number three and four. 15 laps, I believe, will be the distance. And green means go out of turn number four. Gage going to lead him down with the number 65 of Hanger right in that number two spot. Racy Jr. not wasting any time. Going to sneak upstairs on the outside. And they will go down the back stretch. Stan Wetmore going to have company here in just a moment because the old one of Barney Waldron is getting it going over in turn at number three through four. And they're coming up on the back bumper of lap traffic. They're all going to have to slide to the high side right now as they work their way through the number 64 of Demelin. Demelin going to stay down on the inside out of everybody's way. That fifth spot right now again belongs to the 78 of Holbert, but he's got Blanchard coming on a mission out of turn number two. Blanchard trying to crack the top five. And Wetmore still doing a good job holding back Barney Waldron. C going to go right back down to the inside with Wetmore right back there and Blanchard as well. So the 2, 3, 4, 5 spot coming out of turn number 4. Still trying to sort it out. And it will be the number 5 of Ray C. Jr. at the line. The old one of Waldron will finish 3rd, 4th to Wetmore, 5th to Blanchard. You've been watching Inside Northeast Racing, sponsored by the New York State Stock Car Association, Utica Rome Speedway, RCT Roofing, Rayomes Towing and Recovery, Bobco Video, Northeast Racing Videos, LaGrange Media, and Jack Shoes Race Car Parts and more. 
That's going to do it for this week's show. Thanks for watching and keep your eye out as our cameras are wandering a speedway near you. For Mimi Lazaro, Courtney Normoyle, Josh Phillips, Mike Warren, and Joel Mearns, this is Dan Martin saying, see you next time. Inside Northeast Racing is a Northeast Racing Videos production.